for right like like say for example i'm in a relationship then it also for feels example. like okay uh, i am in a relationship <laughs> right do men secretly want to be huge babies this is <laughs> your <laughs> daily catch up <laughs> So I recently chanced upon an article because we've been researching for like a new series that MOSG is doing, right? And the title says, In experiments, researchers have figured out what men and women really want in their mate. Ooh. Domestic helper. <laughs> How dare you call them mates? <laughs> I thought you were looking for a mother. Okay. Mommy. <laughs> Guess between these two, do you think that they value attractiveness more or intelligence? Intelligence, intelligence. because it's a survey. <laughs> you want love is that? Was it an anonymous survey? I think so. Eh. I think. Uh, I think you ask anybody, they will say intelligence. Eh. Mm. It's like the, it's like saying personality. But it's like, a, but actually, <laughs> but actually must be hot. So y'all will be surprised. It shows that the data reveals that both men and women care more about attractiveness. Oh, ah. nice. So they were honest. Uh, yes. Okay. So, so it's anonymous. Like a yeah. one point increase in like so five, five, six, six out of ten to a seven out of ten, right? They are more than ten. Sorry, they are more than ten percentage points more willing to ask the person out. Oh. Yeah. We, meanwhile, in, true. intelligence only boosts by about two point three to four point five percentage points. Okay, but How it depends from where to where. So six to seven, understandable, but from a two to three, not really, like, right? It's like when there's not much to ask for. This. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Then the margin makes a big difference. But interestingly, for mm. men, or maybe not. Sur- oh, oh. Interestingly, but unsurprisingly, for men, they value intelligence a lot until it over it surpasses their own. Mm. Uh, then they yes. don't value intelligence much anymore. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Meanwhile, like height, weight, and Height, weight, age, and overall attractiveness are largely determined to matter. However, <laughs> in some capacity, <laughs> la, in some capacity. <laughs> she she carrying this episode. Her <laughs> oh, f- back gonna <laughs> break it. <in. laughs> Everything adds up so far. As a man, yeah, as a man, as a man, as a man. Women, however, prefer men who live in more affluent neighborhoods. Affluence, you see me, rich. Right. Uh, my right. Holland, I don't BH, believe you. Don't know. Like, or, no, or no, no, like, like, it's like, like they in got a uh, influence. Affluence. This this uh this survey was done where Columbia University, US. New York, yeah. Columbia. Mm-hmm. But then like this as specifically for the intelligence thing, it has been backed up by multiple other studies. Okay, okay. Do okay, you okay. think yeah. that could be an underlying, uh, secondary trait? Like for example, women that are more intelligent tend to be X. Tend to not want to do the dishes. Perhaps. Ooh. Or <laughs> show you that they are smarter than you, or make you feel dumb. Mm. No, but then. Ooh, maybe men just feel dumb on their own, you know what I mean? <laughs> as in, I like, no one's trying to make them feel dumb, but they feel. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Hard, as in, that would be level yeah. one. La. So, what I mean is that could there also be a. So, eh, I think, like, when it comes to attractiveness, right, there's, there's this core thing that plays quite a big factor. Eh. Like, somebody can. If you really boil it down and, eh, like, you shave their head, right? Okay, usually I will, in my head, right, I will shave a person's head. And then I'll see whether they still look good, Botak. If they do, right, mm. wow, that means they really legit, naturally, right, hot. Guy okay. or girl, right? But right, there's this other thing that I also like to factor in, which is the way they are able to style themselves. So sometimes you will see right, like some profiles like on online dating, whatever, right? Like the every photo is just them in like casual like rubbish clothes or whatever, you know. Then you don't Yikes. get to see their ability right to to really like dress up. So like they need to have at least one photo, which is like like if if, if it's a dude, right, it's them suiting up yeah. and looking like this is my. This is my expensive dinner date suit. Uh, this is like my look. best, your peak. This ah. is my clean up look. Uh. Yeah, 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 then this yeah. is my chill. You know? They need to know your range. Yeah, then same for girls. <laughs> they need to know how to be hot. And then after that, then they can like, and then everything else, right? Like their lifestyle, their whatever yeah. photos. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But just showcasing that alone, right? Can, can change the attractiveness a lot for me. Mm. Yeah, I agree, but, I agree. Because like, actually, honestly, right, a girl or a guy, they aren't one number. They're not a seven out of ten. They are, uh, depending on their style or hairstyle or whatever, is within a five to an eight, Ooh. potentially. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can so what's your range? Yeah. 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 Like, I, I don't know how to go from here. Yeah. Also, JP looks different when the head is in front or behind. Huh? No, but he need to do the ball test. He can take out his head now and show whether he's really. You know, I feel. That's why I don't like. See, you, you look two years younger like this. <laughs> 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 you didn't say that about John. Oh. You see me look 35. <laughs> <laughs> you, slow, you slowly increase the years. Actually, you will decrease first, then after that. Correct, correct. 14, 14. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, so okay, the okay. article continues to say disappointingly because Ooh. women kind of know that intelligence, like men are a bit sensy about that, right? So Truly research so has also found that single women are worried about this issue and try to avoid being penalized by it by hiding their ambition <gasps> or hiding like their MBAs and all that. Or, or like they like dumb are. themselves down to. Mm. Wow. <laughs> Like they try to hide, like to, to not show, like they are driven yeah. and like what, like trying to, to sh- jump the corporate ladder and that kind of thing. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Okay, wow. to look is for the, today. Uh, this is how recent, right? Quite recent. Wait, let me scroll. Up. I cannot say. No, so you want smart lah? Uh, until not smarter than you, you see. Mm. No, I I I'm, I rather have somebody smarter. <laughs> what if <Yeah>. the girl <laughs> is like a eight out of ten intelligent, but buang uh. Yeah, but attractiveness no, no, and everything uh. is three out. <laughs> it's three out of ten. No, as in the attractiveness okay. must pass first, ma. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Then after that, then the then you. See okay, the attractiveness way. four, but brains eight. Or is the other way. No, but attractiveness okay. eight, but brains four. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> no, we must we must recalibrate the way we rate people. Okay. We five then rate means people. average. <laughs> no, below five means fail. Yeah, but five should yeah, be average. So four point nine, yeah, below, below average. average. But if some, below because average. if someone rates you a five, right, mm. it means you are like eighty percent of the people. Mm. Yeah, but then if you get if someone rates you a six, you instant offended. Yeah. No, th- that's why I feel like most people, right, think that five is damn bad already. So when ev- whenever someone asks me like, "Hey, rate rate me, rate me," right, I only know I got. Seven to ten to play with. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I, <laughs> you don't give a ten lah. You give like a nine point five. Yeah, but you there's like no that's the range. There's no ten. Correct, yeah, correct. No 10. But so you really have a seven to nine yeah. to play with. Sorry, I'm married. Already. <laughs> <laughs> no, f- try and bait me. There is a ten. <laughs> yeah, there is a ten. <laughs> <laughs> you want to borrow the thinking cap? <laughs> Whenever people ask to play rating game, immediately right, the first thing you must say is, okay, five is the average, ah. Huh? Uh, oh, yeah. you must, you must then set you the then you say four. <laughs> It's what you would do though if you say that. You know, I, I always like, okay, you want me to be honest? Uh? You sure? Uh? You sure? Uh? <laughs> <laughs> what? Mm. Yeah, that's why I got one baluku here. <laughs> then after I say no, 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 six. So you can balance out the expectations. You see their expression, they kidding. <laughs> 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 they'll never take it. No, no, actually for real seven, but then they'll never take it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Two plus. G-G. You'll never answer yeah. my question. What's the question? The intelligence and attractiveness, eight, four, eight, four. Like, so. Uh. What, what would we prefer, is it? Attractiveness eight. Brain four. Because Please, whenever you try to talk to them, I right, have the things you say you need to explain. No, because yeah. brain can improve. Looks also can improve with style. Harder, with harder, style. harder. <laughs> so it's four to Hi, seven. Brain no. is easier to improve than looks. I feel like it depends on age. Yeah. If they reach a certain age and their intelligence is still four, right? They <laughs> are not willing to improve their intelligence. True, true. True. There's a cap to their brain really. Okay, so you would bring a- <laughs> There's a cap to two brains. You bring here. a smart girl around, right? So you have- No, okay, so you pay la, you pay <laughs> Why not both? No, la, that's a bad, bad idea. If she's smart, right, she will understand and then she will also be able to use that intelligence to improve her looks. No, but if she's so smart, right, she's <laughs> not going to listen to you, like teach her how to dress up. She'll be like, huh? Not dress up, la, plastic surgery, la, everything. Don't la. Want, la. She don't want. Because you're very smart. If she's smart enough, she know that I will leave if she don't do something about yeah. it. So you smart enough to know that shit. no loss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, move on, move on. <laughs> so hold up right at this moment. If you think that men have emotions, like share and subscribe. No one's afraid. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. No, no, no. Back to the episode. We trust you. So do y'all think that like y'all really know what women want? Oh, no. Do you think you know what your partner wants? No, at this point, y'all date one million years already, right? <laughs> do you still piss off that you don't know why? <laughs> yes. Same. But like, like, <laughs> like, 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 yeah. So I, I saw this thing uh, on, on TikTok. <laughs> Why? Well, I'm referencing yeah, TikTok a lot, yeah, guys. Because it's the most educational platform in the 21st century. Like, oh, um, okay. Okay. they don't watch. The, I don't. Uh, this is how Singaporeans are. Say also don't listen. Listen also don't understand. Don't understand also don't ask. I say they don't do. Do also do wrong. <laughs> wrong also don't want to admit. <laughs> admit. Admit is going to be a something like that. Yeah. But yes, yeah. <laughs> okay, so I actually have a list here. Like this one guy has actually came up with a long list of like things that women simply do not understand. So let me know if y'all agree or disagree. Okay. Number okay. one, men have emotions. Okay. Women, and women don't understand no that. All right. I think they do lah. Women don't understand that men have emotions. I think they try to. Do they really understand though? Do you all feel like your partners really understand your emotions? Yes. 
Like maybe maybe half take the it, time only. Take it back. Okay, for you half the time, right? Uh. Like so, what mm. are the emotions that she doesn't? Can realize ah, I should have been honest. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> it's not something that I struggle with in in this relationship at least, like. Right. Maybe in past ones. What are some What are some of the emotions that she just like doesn't catch? No, I I think it's a matter of us projecting how we would react to something onto each other. Mm. Yeah. She she cannot deal with plan changes. Like. It, <sighs> Even Same. if it's slightly ahead, Me even too. if it's like the morning of the day, and then we have to change something in the evening, it mm. really annoys her. Yeah, and but what I think that statement is is sort of true is that I think women do tend to less to to expect <laughs> less impact of something. Uh, like like men will take it better than women. Oh. Right. Yeah, and so I've because you take it less, you can go and do something about it because you have a clearer like frame of mind. Yeah. 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 I think that's a very it's a very personality thing though. Cause I dated a girl once that was like that. Like if like say like some friends want to just come and join and hang out or whatever with one group already, right? Yeah. But then if that person was not originally in the plan, right, then it becomes very like uncomfortable for the other person. Yeah, 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 you yeah, know yeah. what I mean? But then I've also hung out with some girls that is like, oh come okay, join join or whatever. You know, just mm. hang out. Like the plans can change, doesn't matter. Yeah, it's yeah. it's not really a gender thing, I think it depends on people. Yeah, yeah. I've actually, if I'm not wrong, right, read a study, which I cannot find now, but I'm very sure I read it. Okay. That talks about how women want men to have more emotions and they've been talking about trying to encourage men, right, to have more emotions, but they actually don't know how to deal with it. Like yeah. when men actually show that, right, they yeah. don't know how to deal with it. Because I think men and women show it mm. very differently and they have very different emotions. It's that we are emotional, but it's very different. And you guys may not like like the same reactions maybe that we have right actually i do see i see that comment a lot on reddit or like uh reddit videos on tiktok which is oh, <laughs> my favorite shit now it's mm. like an audio book is the best yeah. <laughs> yeah. then it's like take me in part two <laughs> <laughs> then it's the hopping minecraft videos yeah ah. yeah what, dude, that's so hard eh. i don't know how it but anyway we digress jump but quest. yeah i i do i do feel that um when women do tend to ask men about their emotions and then it really comes out really they only learn until they like we should ask and give them the time and space then right. they're like oh and, but I disagree I think from the way men and women show emotions are that different right I don't really think it's that different at least for me mm, I, I just oh. feel like the capacity to accept is mm. different I, I think to me it's, it's not the emotion itself I think the expression of it is different so like for example like a girl may just out of the blue start crying. And I think to us, it's, it's very obvious, okay, she is currently being emotional. I know roughly, okay, what to do. Either <laughs> console, hug, maybe buy her a favorite chocolate, that kind of thing, right? But for guys, it's that if I'm sad or what, right? I may not necessarily show it, but I'm obviously, I'm going to act different around you because I currently have a lot in my head. So then it may come across as I'm ignoring her, but actually it's not about you. I'm going through something right now and I just need you to ask me about it. Or I'm going to tell but you. How and will she know to ask you about? Perhaps it? La, But but the other way is that I'm just going to say, look, I am f not feeling great right now, but uh, so I'm going to come across this way. So I'm not going to cry in front of you. So to a girl, so it may be I don't know how to deal with it because he just, he's he's not acting the way how a girl would, which is yeah. to cry or what. Ah, I, okay. Like to me, right? Like after what what both of you have said, right? I I felt like it's the the girl can ask. Like I've had a girl ask me before about my emotions, right? Like properly, properly, right? And then that's where it gets stuck because I've never been asked before. Yeah. So then I don't even know how to articulate how I'm feeling. I haven't even taken the time to process how I'm feeling, yeah. you know? Yeah, I think that one is a bit of a challenge. Lah. Yeah. So even like, 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 I mean, I can put this question out to the guys out there, right? Like, do y'all really think about your emotions and process it and know how to articulate it first of all? Mm. Yeah, because if you can't even do that, then what's the point in the other person even wanting, bothering to ask, right? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Or like sometimes I also don't need to talk about it, you know. I just need you to know that I'm sad. But let's leave it at that. I will deal with it myself. So Deanna and I have a code word for that. It's a, I don't want to talk, but it's not anything wrong with you. Yeah. But I just don't want to talk. So then we'll say that so that the other person is reassured. It's great, it's great. And like, I'll, I'll, Do you think this shit works though? Code word? Surely abuse one eh? No, no, no. I think <laughs> it does. I think like, it does. Let's say it's carrot lah. Let's say it's carrot. And then you're just talking to my dad. Then I'm done already. I'm like, okay, okay. Can you just carry the f*** up now? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's toxic. <laughs> yeah. No, no. Carrot, like carrot. <laughs> no, Jack, isn't it? Yeah. No, because like something that Ned and I do is that like whenever we are really struggling with something, I normally just say either I want you to respond and give me a solution for it or I just want you to hear me out and then that's right. it. Mm. Right. Then mm. at least I don't need to. Sometimes also I get annoyed whenever there's solutions and I don't want to hear it, you know. Pat and I do have a, like a sacred code word of sort, but it's a gesture. But I think she broke it last week. Now it's very sad. <gasps> <Which is> like, <laughs> yeah, she's like, up here. No. So, 
Which is something we learned at the engage encounter, which is the whole hand thing. Uh, yeah. So I I hold hand and say, wait, pause, 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 pause. No, no, she she just listened, but she she didn't. Oh, okay. Give me because she's dealing with her endometriosis now. So we've been fighting slightly more than usual, but it's nothing big. But basically, that thing like screws with your hormones a little bit. Mm-hmm. And we have friends, or, or rather, I have a friend, which is actually the MD of gravity in Malaysia that took that thing and he screwed up her shit. Then until sh- to the point where like her, her marriage was not like what, what was affected. Right. Then, but you, you don't like think that, oh, it's cause of a pill I pop in the morning. Ma. You think about, oh, we have communication problems. You just don't understand me, you know? Mm. And because that one is doctor tell you to eat one. So it's like, why are you going to question that, right? And, and so it's always at the back of my mind whenever it, it's getting a bit irrational and I feel like, hey, it's this, this, this little comeback or this reaction, right, is a is little bit unwarranted. Or, uh, or it's, it's overreaction on certain parts, mm. in which I feel like I get why you're irritated, but then the moment you cross a certain threshold, right, I'll hold hand and I say, baby, 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 pause, 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 pause. Then I say, <laughs> can we just take a break? Can I, can you go? Um, Out? <laughs> take, like, take a breather first. Yeah. Yeah. Because I feel like we, we are crossing that line already. And then she's just, Continue holding my hand Then we Like it's not like let go or what It's just that we When I let go right She just continues sitting there Then I felt very betrayed That was the oh first no. time that she Yeah cause our whole hand thing always works Every time when you do this also, I don't know whether you want me to hold your hand also No 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 Okay then what happened after that? It was just that It's something that I couldn't address back then Right Like I just waited I think maybe The day after Right right When we had another fight Because I feel like Many things happen due to the lack of communication or mm-hmm. communication methods of which I've read a lot of books and when I read books right I instant practice one that's why I see like this company always like like shifts right <laughs> most of the time it's because I read a book yeah. I'm just like, oh, I agree with that book you know and then we just try right which is one of the privileges I do have in life right so I read a lot about communication especially between husband and wife yeah and so I I do let her know that I, I feel like something's off something's off something's off for actually the past few weeks yeah, and then I said, for example, yesterday when I when we when I held your hand, and, and then she said she felt very attacked that we were in the middle of a argument, and then she feels like I just ordered her to leave the room to take a breather, but like but that whole hand thing was supposed to mean something, ma. Mm. Yeah. But usually when you do that whole hand thing, is it like also in the middle of a fight, and then she you tell her the same thing? Uh no, it's always different things, ma. Mm. Or she will hold my hand, la. No, as in, hold your hand and say, okay, how about you go and take a breather and come back? No. Yeah, so that was new. Uh, yeah, uh, that was new. So that were probably thrown off. Actually, I'm the one that do the whole hand thing. She doesn't really do the whole hand thing. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. N- 99% of our fights and arguments, right, I'm not actually angry. Uh, I'm just like, okay, oh, there, there's, there's, there's a point now. Like, yeah. I, I, would, I would like to think most of the time, I'm not the one that's raising my voice. Like, I don't raise my voice. I just like, talk, I was like, ah, oh, I got a problem. Then I like, I just mildly annoyed that there's a problem, right? So then I was like, okay, okay, then how do we get past this problem? And I, I also know, like, I try to get off my, my like, toxic masculinity and it's like, it's not always about solutions. Sometimes they just want to be heard. And it's like, <laughs> just, I, like you need to read too much, right? Then you got a lot of paralysis, right? Because like, oh, there's so many tips that are just coming to me now. <laughs> so all the books, you just try all the things, right? You just go all around, but I'm not actually angry. But as she vent, mm she pisses herself a lot more. Oh. Yeah. And oh, it kind of snowballs. It could be the way oh. I respond also. I, I mean, trigger it more. It takes two hands to clap. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. But for me, I thought I was de-escalating, but I was not. Mm. Yeah. Or me, sometimes you don't want to de-escalate because you feel like there's a teachable moment. Yeah. 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 No, exactly what I mean. <laughs> yeah. So it's like, no, don't, I don't want to de-escalate, but I'm not angry. I just hope for some yeah. point of realization or a hint of realization. Because the opportunity only comes once in a... But after right, that, no. you all resolved it the next day. La. Yeah. We, we don't really fight through the this one. La. Right. Yeah. Like, I think it's my memory also. I, I, cannot, <laughs> I cannot remember. I them shook. Like... That's them shook to have. He blocked it out. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, but he, he forget, but she remember. I just go back with him. <laughs> But speaking of fights, one of the things on this guy's list is if men do open up about their insecurities to a trusted partner, it will then be used against them in an argument later on. For example, the partner will start calling him like weak or what? Pussy. Like they no, start like, not true for yeah, me. Yeah, not true for me either. Is Actually, that true for you? I don't know, no partner. <laughs> no, in last past, time what? Like, or you I don't open up. Have you had a partner that you open up with? <laughs> open up no. with bird? No. Like like it was it was the it was that one relationship where it's just extreme like like, cause I, I think I mentioned this, bo- this before, but like, 
only with like one of my more recent relationships, right? Then like like the floodgate mm. open. Mm. Then I realized that wow, the emotional maturity is like woo for you or to- for like completely undeveloped is a fetus. Mm. Like for me, who? me, me. Oh, okay. Yeah. So then after that, then like I think that was the only time I really opened up, but in a, in a very unhealthy way. It wasn't controlled or whatever. La. What does yeah. open up mean to you? You're just screaming your heart, your feelings. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Help me! Yeah, a bit. Yeah. Uh, a bit uh, yeah. So then, mm. then I think at that point, it's like I, didn't, I, didn't, I don't even know what are the right steps to processing my own feelings first. And then after that, then knowing how to articulate them properly in, in, a, in a relationship. Yeah. Right. So I think that was like a major challenge. Then on top of that, right, in a relationship, you also need to deal with the other person's emotions. Yeah. Wow. Chaos, yeah. Yeah. Hey, I, uh, so I want to admit something, but I want to I wanna check, check a bit. Okay, uh-huh. okay, okay. So I had this period, I think maybe last year, I told myself, like I try and toxic, toxic masculine myself. Nice. That, hey, you're really starting to be like a, like a chick. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get- Chick. Uh. Um, yeah. Mm. Like, because, <laughs> so like, I agree. It's, guys don't open up often, right? Uh-huh. But I feel like when you open up to one person, then you tend to open up a lot more often. So it's like, you, you don't see a guy cry until you see a guy cry. Mm. Then the guy's gonna cry again in two months. Yeah. But you to know? the same person. To the same person. Uh. Then everybody will never see this guy cry until you see this guy cry. Guy cry again next month. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, and I feel like that's, that's a two hand thing. You know, like I feel like girls on one hand do realize, okay, okay, maybe we, it's time we come and acknowledge that um, the emotions of men are under value in that sense, right? And then you, you coax it out already, right? Why it keeps coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It gets, it then they're like- <laughs> Real quick, real fast. Yeah, and then I was like, oh, then I had this point, I think maybe like last year, I was like, why oh, you gotta stop this shit? Eh? Like I was talking to myself, you know? Yeah, <laughs> like I look in the mirror and be like- Oh, you like were this? the one that were crying to the other person? No, not really crying, la, but more of, I, I, I get oh, emotional. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like I, imprint. La. I think there's a rule to this one. Eh? Is that like, you cannot just, go to somebody, even if they are like your best friend or whatever, right? you cannot just go to them and then just dump the emotions. Like there's, there was this thing about how like, cause my friend, I think she works in like service line or whatever. La. So she was talking about how like her clients is, is one on one one. Mm. They will just come. And then because like the whole process is just, is like an hour long or whatever. And then sometimes they treat it like therapy and they just start dumping their emotional baggage on her. Eh. Like all their problems, all that. And then she started to realize after a while that it's like, it was weighing on her so much and affecting her emotionally. Right. And then, she, and then, the, then she started to understand that you have to draw the line. Like you have to respect somebody else. Hey, what does she do? Sorry. Oh, I can't remember like, Some like like art thing la. But okay. but it, but essentially, right? What you need to do is that you have to ask a person whether they are comfortable and yeah. and in in the right frame of mind for right. you to open up about certain things first. Yeah. Right. Cause maybe they're also not in the right headspace, they're all over the place. Then you just go in like add on right. more problems, your problems to them, right? But yeah. I feel like that but specifically is... for my case it was not external. It was between us. But even in that situation also like right, it's like No I'm I'm then pissed off at you uh, I can usually <laughs> we can put a cold wall, I can cut you back. Mm. But then, or you can go to route three, yeah. Then. Yeah, but it could be like that morning. I'm just not ready to deal to deal right. with. It, but maybe in the afternoon we can talk about it. Let me get myself into the right headspace for you to mm, share with me. You know? Right. So it's about booking time, lah. At the end of the day, it's like, hey, can I book you for twelve pm? I really need to talk about this. Mm. But do you not feel like that is the biggest like barrier to people wanting to open up because they feel like they are burdening their friends? Yeah, hundred percent. Which is why, like, I think I shared before, <laughs> right? Like, I I have certain friends where I can share very freely with. And it's because there's that tight circle. It's not transactional, but I know like they've shared with me a lot and I feel like I can share with them. And so our friendship is really based on having that support structure. And I have another group of friends where it's really like we have a lot of fun and I feel a bit more burdensome if I if I have to share anything in that group. Right. right. And then rotation. <laughs> so that group doesn't get to get your fun side though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this? No, which is why I this, this group gets the best of you, then they go and take your shit. So like that that's my biggest problem because I feel like I am a different person. Not that I'm trying to be fake or anything, but I feel like I'm different people with different groups. Right. And mm-hmm. I've always been like that in school. Like in school I like I was always part of different like you were groups. Cool, like, cool. I wasn't cool, but I tried to make up for my insecurities by joining many cliques. But you're cool now. Yeah, look at your <laughs> like you to today. <laughs> so then, the, the, my problem, right, is that sometimes when the groups mix, right, where like sometimes I just happen to invite the two same groups into the same place, right, my mind, like, my brain cannot, like, which, which guy right. am I? You <laughs> laughing, but you laughing, yeah. but you crying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, I'm a dude playing a dude, dress up as another dude. I don't know which dude I am, you know? I'm like, no, there, there was one point here, right, where men rarely, if ever, 
receive compliments throughout their entire lifetime, right? And then just now you all brought up something about how like it's nice to like just drop compliments to other people once in a while kind of shit, right? Yeah. And I realized that I don't do that. Yeah. Like especially once I get even more so when I get comfortable with somebody, right? It's just like I don't bother with these things. So I'm wondering like how important is it really? Like and like based on your experiences in your I relationships. I feel like once you start, you cannot stop. It's true. Once oh, you yeah. start, it gets demanded of you. Yeah. It's like that baby goes in the corner of the house, right? What? Once you feed one drop of blood, then you must keep feeding. Yeah, wow. If, not, you if you feed more, too, uh. then wow. you need to feed okay. more. Okay, okay. okay. Oh, <laughs> no, but I agree. I, th- I think like I have, I have close guy friends, right? Where like, uh, I think the expectations is very different. So like when we get close, right? To them, it's like, I can, I can be rude to you. I can just be like, hey, do this, hey. But he's like, because we are that close, right? I wouldn't talk to you like this to any mm. other person. But to me, it's like, oh, if we're that close, I expect you to be damn nice lah, like be like, you know, please and thank yous and stuff. So I think it's just the, the Oh, and I think guys have a lot of this mismatch with each other. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Like within the, within guys. Cause I feel like there really are two types. People that is like, a, if we are tight, I expect you to support me. Yeah, and then there's the, if we are tight, then chill lah. Know that my support is given yeah. freely. Uh, I don't have to ever articulate it. Wait, so yeah. like, how do you determine? Is it like established or is it like you make a mistake, then you're like, oops. Then from then you know. I think you just got to read or see how it goes. You get close, then you realize that that person's are there. Then be like, okay, long. Mm. Then you have to code switch. And I, I don't even know which one is the norm. Yeah. But I, I realize, like, for me, I do realize within clicks where I feel like okay, maybe, maybe people keep making fun of me or whatnot, right? Mm. Maybe because we're just not that tight, lah. We're not yeah. that close, right? And then two years down the line, three years down the line, then when we we actually have a conversation about something real, right? Then you realize when you when they say. Actually, I don't have many close friends. It's just is it really just you only? Yeah. Like, oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> just me for years. I I thought you hated me. You yeah. Know I mean? It's like yeah. I had no idea. My common response is that oh my god, I don't think we are close. You say wow. that straight away. No like in my head like that like oh, oh nice. Oh, the men don't know how to communicate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> no, but but back to the the point about the compliments, right? So like in a relationship, like do you all really like go out of the way to like, you look nice today or like or like mm. maybe buy her some like. Thing, like like tap out something yeah. special for her or like and the other way around also does she always step go, go out of the way to do these things back for you and then does it really make it have an impact have for me because my love language is words of affirmation which is why i give it out a lot also like yeah. i like oh. to give so like even at work like because like i manage a team right, i always make it an effort to always go good job good job it might not mean anything to them but it's because I'm also looking for that la from um my So you want them to say good bosses. job to you? Yeah, you know, like it just I don't man. You do la, you do. I do uh, But it goes I, a long my, way for my me. My love language is also words of affirmation. <laughs> so I also do give it out. But then you realize at some point sometimes it, it doesn't matter when you give it out too freely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can you, yeah, you want to too generous then it doesn't mean much. But like it goes back the other way, right? Like sometimes ten compliments is the same magnitude upwards, right, as one negative yeah, compliment. I'll give you downwards. an example. Oh. If Dan tells me this shirt is nice. The feel good is plus one. If JP say the feel good is plus six. Right. Mm. Huh? Oh my god, I, I just noticed it's Mr. Beast. Uh, yeah. yeah, Beast Philanthropy. Oh, wow, it's damn nice. It's him raising funds mm. plus one, you see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you go buy the chocolate. Out, I give out too freely. Never, never. Uh, I want to try no, his chocolate. No, okay. it's, it's a portion of you give out too freely and it's a portion of he is the opposite. Yeah, he, does, he doesn't give it out. Yeah, he doesn't give it out. Okay, okay so I need to give more. I feel like I a lot. You are really. <laughs> <laughs> now the next one will feel fake, sorry. Anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Your cat also not bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I feel like it also creates a, a relationship, right? Where people around you, maybe, or people like JP who doesn't give up freely, is always trying to prove themselves to you. Because cause you don't give it up freely, that compliment. Wait, right. that is good for him, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct. De- depending la, on whether that's what he's looking for. Uh. Hmm. Words of affirmation, you say. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? You speak of nice words. <laughs> Have y'all ever been asked to like man up? But my dad, uh, actually guys do it to each other. I think girls don't really do it to guys. Lah. Man up. Only sarcastically. Uh. I feel like I it's suck myself so up. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, oh. Man up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't be a I bitch about this. Angle, like, Why are you like this? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like in the army especially, you really have to do that. Because everybody is in like a chong mode, right? Then even though yeah. uh, some people are like humchi humchi or whatever, right? Because they see everybody doing it, then they just force themselves, right? But it helps to show you what you're capable of also. Right. It pushes you to another level. Like, you know, like, every time you need orientation camp, then they'll have all this weird shit or embarrassing shit that comes out and then it goes viral, right? Mm. But then when I think about it, right, I do think that, like, such things bonds people better. Like, if yeah. right now I say everybody, we go out and we crawl mm. to the MRT, versus you say, hey, okay, let's walk to MRT together, we clearly will remember one better than the other and laugh about it after that. Yeah. 
That's a good point. It's true. Yeah. So when it comes to the army, is it because of the hardship or is it because of like what you mentioned? I think it's a bit of both. Because I remember like when I moved on right from BMT to like your unit or whatever, then you start to see like you start to see the other factors play in already. Then it makes it harder to go and like mm. talk to people. Because mm-hmm. you are you are you are you you are calculating all these other things in the back of your mind of judging who this person is. Yeah. yeah. So, so you're closer to your like so your BMT layers. mates, la. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There's this other comment that says, right, there are times I like I want to pursue a friendship with a woman, but I have to stop myself because she will think I am pursuing her romantically. Ooh, oh, that's true. Relate. Yeah. But is that just you thinking too much? No, because like sometimes you're really not sure, right? Like like say for example I'm in a relationship. Then it also for example. Like, okay, I am in a relationship, <laughs> right? Sometimes it's very strange for me to suddenly think like, oh, can I make new? It almost feels like as though I am now narrowed down to if I make any new friends now, it has to be guys. If I were to make a new friendship with a girl, like where is the boundary between like, oh, you're flirting a bit or you're just being friendly? Because you would talk to guys and mm. girls differently anyway. Is there also a list of 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 girls that ne- doesn't um, prefer you to <coughs> interact with? Do you have that list? I mean, I, I have a list. I mean, Pat has a list for me. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get updated regularly. Every month. You, don't, you know, like you try not to add to the list. <laughs> like, no, 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 really bro. Uh, ish, ish, ish. The moment the list exists, <laughs> you scale it the hell back. There's a list. Is then time normal? to time, I will ask her, hey, does this person make the list? Wow, you voluntarily add someone to a list. No, like, the list. because when you ask, because these people go into the list uh, as as a result of a clear decision making. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When yeah, yeah. you've crossed the line, then they remind you, hey, there's a f- yeah. 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 I, so, so, <laughs> To, to so me and you check right Sometimes maybe you're on the list But because you ask right yeah. They'll be like oh, They might lah Yeah I don't know right, This person's not it's okay Right 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 No I, th- I think we, we don't have a formal list But there is like And it goes both ways yeah. There is some maybe People that I would Think Net would be a bit more it Careful was- Hanging out with Because of my feelings And then I know that There will be a certain number of people Is it Net because be you know with. That that person already likes her Or is it because Like what, why Why I, are I, they on the list Why do they make the list It's a vibe thing okay, You gotta ask Pat Yeah it, it, I think it's, a, it's just a vibe check Like like to them It might just feel like And I'm whoa. very honoured Because the, the girls on those lists Are, are, are hot, are, are hot. Mm. Mm. But it's nothing to do you eh? Nothing to do with me eh? <laughs> <laughs> Wait but see The number one guy That's on your list right That you're a bit more sensitive about Do you believe that If Choi, like your breakup, right? He will go for her. I th- I think that is somewhat like a criteria. Wow. Right. You know, like it's not it's not exactly that, but that could could play into it. Right. right? But, okay. Like there's some threat, lah. I guess. Yeah, because I I was in a relationship once and like, and there was this one guy. Like I just cannot understand like why they are why why she she is friends with him. Yeah. And then on top, like it caused a lot of problems. Like mm-hmm. I will fight her over him because of the fact that like, like we already identify like certain characteristics about him that are like, just like, huh, why would you like somebody like that, right? To begin with. And then on top of that, it's like, we kind of know that like, he also like, like her. Right. Yeah. Wait, were you before or after him? Like in terms of knowing that her? Friendship. Knowing her. Same time. So Bluff. then, no really, really <laughs> same, 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 same. So then like, wow, it got them confusing for me because like at the end of the day, I knew that I was wrong. That no matter what, right? I shouldn't have a list. Yeah. That it's it's not healthy to have one. I should trust her. Yeah. So it's not you. I don't trust them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you know, which is the argument that I had for for the longest yeah. time in my head. But at the end of the day, right? I cannot control this at all. And yeah. So so no list. Like for me, it's no list. But no then list, the yeah. fact that both of you have list, then I'm like, I know, I don't it's, have a list. it's not a list per se. I have a list for me. But <laughs> is I, that one person? No, no, no. <laughs> the, the name is list. <laughs> it's, it's definitely not a list. But I think just based on experience of like how she's reacted to me being around certain people. people I yeah. kind of know, okay, if this person is going to be around that, I need to either give her a heads up or I just need to avoid myself being in a situation with But do person. you know why these few people? <laughs> it's, again, it's a, it's, a, it's a vibe thing. Lor. Like, if, if I already have a certain number <laughs> of guys... I know, I know a couple people on, on this list, I think. <laughs> ah. Yeah. Like, I know... I think I, we share some people on the list. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? I guys? I don't think so. La. One person, one person. Okay, maybe. <laughs> do we know this person? Let's uh, not make it again. Can say off camera? Can say off camera? Can I say off camera? Can I? Because they're weird. They're mm. weird. Mm. What? No, but, but First letter. I can only make... <laughs> I can only say what I, I feel because I, I know there are certain number of guys that I would have called out before and then right. I know that suddenly she suddenly stopped talking to them, right? Uh. And I go, okay, okay, she understands. And so it goes both ways. <laughs> no, but do you want that of her? I, like I said, to me, I, I think if I suddenly 
like say it's a guy in the office and mm. I suddenly see both of them just talking and like I maybe gave out a word of warning like hey like don't hang out so much with that guy lah right or like something like that and I see that happening then I'll be like uh, <laughs> and then I know that I'll be annoyed and then she knows like it's not worth a fight or him being annoyed so then it's just not worth it you know then I would like, I would think that if she has those like girls on her list what like she would feel the same way lah so yeah. I just want to avoid that that fight avoid whatever repercussions there may be lah right so mm. what's his height <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like right a big reason. Just give us a clue. Right? A big reason why like girls or no, guys. No, I don't have a kid. list. Pet has a list. No, but that person he was not a guy lah. Clearly, no. He's not a sen- he's sensitive about a girl that likes net. Okay, okay, no, we'll keep it that way. We'll keep it that way. <laughs> no, so the the similar to this Reddit thread, right? There is the opposite version, which is the fem what what Ladies, women uh. you know what men think women. One. That's the. <laughs> that's well, that's perfectly really an old couple. Yeah. That's the opposite version, which is ladies. What do men simply not understand about you? Ah, yeah. Okay. So oh, we can us. do that on another the next episode. Ah, oh, okay. Damn. Then we get like a girl on also. That would be great. So if from <laughs> between this episode to the next, if you have any like comments, right? Put below and then we also read yeah, out yeah. yours in the Maybe next we'll, episode. We'll, we can do a whole episode reacting to the comments on yeah, this yeah, episode. Yeah. Mm. So ladies. What do you think that men simply do not understand about you? A lot. And do you have a list? <laughs> for <laughs> relationships, do you have a list? It's like a scroll. What? Okay, so thank you for watching today's pretty chaotic episode. Let us know in the comments down below so that we can read it out in our follow up and see you in the next one. Bye bye. Thanks bye. for watching. Is single? No, then? no, no. Oh. Single. Recently. Single. Recently. Recently single. Recently. Okay, lah. Then we know. Then we know. Okay.